Hi, this is Hannah Mary. Welcome to my studio. I am set up for recording today and I'm actually in the middle of a chapter. I have my ebook here, Public Domain Text, and I am, whenever I make a mistake, I make an extra sound in my recording like this, and that shows up very easily on the audio waveform when I'm editing, so that way I can go and see wherever I had to stop and repeat and correct or change tone or get more clear. and edit those out. So I'm going to do just a bit more recording here for you to see or hear. Such a miserable day as it was. Nothing but failure after failure in her lessons. Nothing but crosswords at recess. Even the poor unfortunate book in which she had read the beautiful story seemed to arouse her anger. Here, take your book, she said, tossing it fiercely on Laura Selby's desk. I'm going to edit out that page slide because it might make a sound on my finger. <clears throat> Here, take your book, she said, tossing it fiercely on Laura Selby's desk. I never want to see it again. Considering all these things, it is hardly to be wondered at that when the hour for the hated arithmetic class was over, Mrs. Harold said, this is the third recitation in which you have entirely failed. You may take your seat and prepare your lessons. Helen threw her book on the floor and exclaimed with a passionate burst of tears, I'll never learn it! The school was dismissed, and Helen sat alone with her teacher. Had Mrs. Harold known what a sore little heart was throbbing in the little girl's bosom, known of all the things which it had known of all the things which had vexed the poor, passionate child. Perhaps she might have led her into the right way, but how could she know that such a sullen face... Tone, I'm going to correct. But how could she know that such a sullen face covered anything but a sullen heart? All right, that's enough sample. <laughs>